Meow. Hi, Penny Bowden, crazy cat artist here. Just mapping in the shapes here, this relaxed little kitty. There's where the muzzle's going to go in the ears. Just loose lines to start with. Loose and light so I can make corrections if I need to, which I always need to. It's always a work in progress. There's that paw hanging over the shelf. Just general shapes to start with. Just really finding my way and aiming for a gesture. See how that muzzle kind of just appears? And these are the eye lines to help me place the eyes. And I'm going at two and a half times the speed here and voicing over. Now I'm slowing down and tightening up a bit to get those features in the right places. Some pockets in there, nice and loose to start with. Yeah, the shape needs to be changed a bit. It's easy to fuss too much over the eyes, but they gotta look convincing. They really come to life when we add some pupils though, don't they? Expression is everything. That ear is a little nicer shape now. Just suggestions of hair inside the ears. I love to hear from you, especially if you're telling me what you want to learn about cat drawing, and I will do my best to get it on here. So drop me a comment. Tell me about yourself or your cat or where you live. I just love to hear from you. Help build our community of crazy cat artists. really like those quick flicky lines for that background area. Just a gesture and some suggestion of toes. Is that shelf that Kitty's laying on. Looks so relaxed and like in charge of the house like they always are. What's your Kitty's name? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. fussing over those eyes a bit. Helping them make look more look more convincing, more like they fit into the into the eye sockets, into the head. And those tabby stripes around the eyes really help add some expression too. We're speeding up here now four times the speed. We'll finish up this drawing. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.